Hi, this is Suze Leventero. Okay, so I did a collective reading. It was really nice. It was from the I Ching and, it, uh, but a Western kind of view. Okay, so I did that. That was a collective reading. And then I did, we're in Gemini Moon, so I did a Gemini reading. And now I'm doing a Taurus reading. Okay, so wait, is this Taurus or Capricorn? Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, so a little bit of both, but what are we leaning towards? Capricorn, okay. So, interesting, okay. All right, so here we go. What's this? Okay, so this was the next card on the bottom. Okay, so what is this? Emphy's Nest. Oh, wow, these two are the same uh, characters. Interesting. So it's like, what is under here is this being, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. That kind of says a lot, too. And look, they it's like they could link up. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Let me see what I'm getting with this. Okay, so two of swords. Okay, in the traditional tarot, two of swords. Okay, so let's see what I'm getting with this. Let's pull this up closer. There's a lot of little stuff in here. This reminds me of... Um... Oh, wait a minute. This reminds me of Brian from Marilyn Manson, and he is a Capricorn. That's interesting. Okay, so <laughs> that's just a little aside, right? Okay. All right, so. So he got into, like, some stuff, right? So that came up in the collective reading, that kind of stuff. Okay, interesting. And then how it's linked here. And then here's the Capricorn reading. Okay. Okay, so Two of Swords, the Lord of Inner Balance. So whatever experience that was, right? And Pluto came in to help assist, to bring the energies uh, in more higher vibing places. Okay, so above the belt, right? Okay, to move in a more pure, loving manner. Okay, so... All right, so, and then, you know, sometimes substances here, right, can get uh, in the way of uh, the mind. So I feel like moving forward, that's important to uh, see if you can do less of that if you're engaged in that kind of uh, stuff. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. I see the connection. Okay. So, Two of Swords is the moon in Libra, right? Okay. So, we, uh, so that's interesting. All right. So, we just did moon in Gemini, and this is moon in Libra. So, it's like the scales. So there's like kind of a seesaw or a teeter-totter energy, right? And wanting to be the Lord of inner balance. It's like showing that energy, that emanation from within to the outside world, that steadiness, that connection. So this kind of reminds me of this kind of mummy stuff, right? It's like death and rebirth energy here. Okay, so. We are moving into this kind of spring-like energy. All right, let's see. So wanting things to be fair and just, right? 
Okay, so, and we've been kind of witnessing this kind of stuff on the news and stuff like that. Because in a lot of my readings, I had uh, court stuff. <laughs> okay, now. So this, some people, okay, put, press the pause button, right? Like the Pisces energy did for a bit there. Um, press the pause button. And uh, that was causing things to slow down and not move. Okay. And I feel like, how you find inner balance is to align that beautiful heart with the mind, right? This looks like, like a defensive stance. Okay, so uh, feeling, need, needing to feel protected, right, and loved. And I feel like it's most important that we give that to ourselves first and then extend it. And the power of the collective consciousness, consciousness is not limited to what we see with our senses, eyes, nose, touch, things like that. That's a message with this Two of Swords today. All right. Now here is this orange color. Let me look up orange, okay. Now that could be a chakra, right? But uh, let me just see what a the orange means. It could be fire energy, right? Like Mars, it's looking very Marsy, like kind of fighting energy. Okay, and feeling here's a, the needing to protect, right? Because these two are the same characters, okay. All right, let me look this up. So it's like brave acts, right? And coming together energy. I feel like that's what's wanted here. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Okay, orange is associated with meanings of joy, warmth, heat, sunshine, enthusiasm, creativity, success, encouragement, change, determination, health, stimulation, happiness, fun, enjoyment, balance, sexuality, freedom, expression, and fascination. Woo! <laughs> Amen. We'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. So this message is kind of the same, right? This is the robot. R2KT. And it's like, uh, normally there's a light, right, that comes out. And this one is a heart, so taking love to the table wherever you go, right? Okay, now, I feel like this card symbolized the wisdom or the mother, like Gaia, 
Mother Earth, or it's a big mother energy I'm getting here. Okay, and then what is this? This is a person who is moving in this kind of shadowy energy when they could gain so much more from moving in that pure positive light, opening up to that more. And see, this one's trying to send the light through. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Hmm, interesting. What is this character? All right, so let me look that up. Arihinda Price. <laughs> okay, well, um... Okay, here we go. Okay. She was deceitful and opportunistic. Okay. Price rose to political power and gained the position for planetary governor. Okay, so that came up this morning to me in a message. It's like being more honest, right? And not putting... Uh, the material stuff over the the value of people human beings okay that came to me and i posted that on twitter okay so anyway so here it is again right and this kind of mothering energy is like um hello <laughs> right okay so It's like whatever they're doing in this kind of energy, right? They could be doing so much more that's positive, even more positive for humanity now instead of doing it the long road, which is in de through density. Whew. See, and then this is like harmonized with the violet ray. Okay, six-dimensional self. Okay. All right, so bringing love to the table wherever you go. Okay, let's read this, and then I'll close out. R2KT. R2KT was a compassionate pink plated R2 series. Okay, astromech droid with feminine programming who witnessed the rise and fall of numerous galactic powers. That was coming up in readings uh, like from a month ago. It's like bring in that feminine energy. If you're a man especially too, bring in that feminine energy, right? Okay, so serving the Galactic Republic through the Clone Wars, r 2 KT eventually came to... S to the service of Leia or Organa's resistance several decades later uh, during their war against the First Order. Okay. All right. So that came up in another ring, so I won't go into it. But the message here with this card is taking love wherever you go. Moving in that violet ray, which is, which is alignment with your multidimensional self. Now, how does that happen? That happens through the silence and listening to the subtle energies bubbling up right from your heart. Okay, so this is a non-assertive energy that comes up, that subtle energy. There's no uh, pushing energy. It's like a subtle energy, like the Buddhists say. It's just like that, tender and loving. Now, let me read this orange one more time. Okay. I 
feel like this is what we're all reaching for, some of us, if we're not here. Orange is associated with meanings of joy, warmth, heat, sunshine, enthusiasm, creativity, success, encouragement, change, determination, health. Health is wealth, right? Okay. Stimulation, happiness, fun, enjoyment, balance, healthy sexuality, freedom, expression, and fascination. Okay. It also means like optimism, emotion, adventure. Ooh, that came up in the other reading of being adventurous and creative. Okay. It's encouraging color and enhances creativity and stimulates the ap appetite and can heighten the senses. Okay. So, but I really like the happiness part, don't you? <laughs> okay, so for some of you, that might mean get some uh, vitamin uh, C, right? Okay, like orange fruits and vegetables. Okay, or A, right? Okay, so I leave you with that. Thank you.